Hi guys, our channel continues to show you programming products made by Macrolab IT company. Today we're going to show you a new automation tool which is designed to facilitate working with customers, products and their groups, as well as for easy handling of transactions and making dynamic reports. Here at the main page we see all tools which assure whole functionality which provides with the principle of one window. Now let's start. For the beginning, let's click on this button so as we can see necessary lists. Here we can add, edit or delete any of cells. For that we should stand on the cell and click on plus button if we want to add the customer. A dialog box appears where we should fill the name of a customer and confirm. With the same logic, we can edit the name of a customer and also remove it if necessary. These tools also work with all other lists. Let's come back to the home page and make a new transaction. We click on a plus button and see a new window. Here we should choose a necessary customer. then a group and products. Then clicking on add button, we will see all information appearing in below field. Let's choose one of product and specify the quantity. Now let's fill a quantity of another product and click confirm after every action. At the same window, we can also change the price if necessary. We can also choose a row and remove it by clicking on Delete Selected Row button. Here we can also add a comment in respect of each product. Let's now confirm made actions by clicking on OK button. Within several seconds, two additional rows will appear at the bottom of the table. These boxes at the top will help us to filter information by necessary criteria, such as customers, groups and products. If we want to add the payment in respect of any product, we should stand on necessary amount cell and then click on this button. We will see a new dialog box where we can find the total amount of sold product, which is 1800 unit, and therefore the debt is also 1800 unit. We can add the payment of 1200 and simultaneously the debt will decrease and become 600. After confirming, we will see that details are saved on the table. For each row, a specific identification number is generated and also a separate column shows who has filled information. The administrator can change these details as well. Now let's see dynamic reports. For that we should click on appropriate button and a report window will appear on the page. The report includes information by customers and products. Here we can choose the period of we want to research and here we can also add some filters. The axis of chart is stated by percentages. Especially we see in blue the total amount of sale. The green line shows already paid sum and the red line is the debt. The next button is designed for another dynamic report by which we can also see details on a different chart but again we can filter it by periods, products, groups and so on. Guys, that's all for today. For any inquiries you may apply to us with the following contact details. Thanks for your attention. See you.